Greetings! You have a sharp look to you, traveler. My name is Azander. I'm an arcanist, and I'm hoping we can help each other out. I've decades of esoteric knowledge, a bit of coin, and a convivial attitude. What do you say? I'd like your help tracking down a former associate of mine. I was attempting to create a relic of great power, and now find my fate frayed, for lack of a better term. I call this relic the Fate Weaver Key. Martina was a brilliant collaborator, and may be able to identify where I went wrong. To find her, we'll need to find a tome, summon a Daedra, and brave the terrors of Apocrypha. What do you say? Join me in an exploration into the unknown? I'm looking forward to our collaboration. As I said, we'll need a book on Daedra summoning to get us on the right track. Let's convene in the center of Cypher's Midden. Is there anything I can clarify for you before we begin? The stacks aren't far at all. I'll see you there. idea where in Orbis to look for my old colleague Martina, but I know she was working with a Daedric consultant, a creature named Tim. If we can summon Tim, we can find Martina. Indubitably, I knew I was right about you. Now, an esteemed elder within the ciphers once summoned forth this Daedra. If we can find the notes from this elder, you and I can summon Tim and engage in parley. You've never been to the Library of Dusk, I take it. Or the forbidden section of Gwillem University. Dedicated scholars must develop their own search magics. I'll begin the incantation. Just be ready for anything. Apocrypha is full of surprises. Incantus eruditum! Abyssal Sea, hear my call. Find the secrets beneath this wall. The rune form is complete. Follow where it leads. Ah, the book we need is in that pile. There, a tome show has the text. Get after it. The chase is on. Excellent work. Ha! That was bracing. Pity the tome will smell like transliminal parasite now. Let's see what it says. Here's the ritual to summon Tim. Easy enough, just a question of the appropriate summoning materials. We'll need expunged tome dust, the talon of a seeker, and black ichor from the spoomy pools of Apocrypha. Let me mark your map. Seekers tend the floor of the region. Their talons often break off in the resin. And there should be plenty of tome dust scraped from parchment in the Cypher's Midden Expungitory. Try to get some from a Daedric incantation. I'll procure that, worry not. Don't want you to think I'm taking advantage of your assistance. Once you have the dust and talon, we'll meet back up at the ritual site I've marked on your map. What do you say? The tome dust should be found in the Cypher's Midden Expungitory, while Seekers tend to congregate around those resin plants to the southwest. Easy enough, and soon we'll be talking to Tep.
Do be careful. Don't rush about and scatter the dust. We hide to all the enemy here. My big line is my own. Your life is mine. Did you hear? Never mind. Welcome. This should be most illuminating. Ah, my new collaborator. Good to see you again. By Mora's eyes, these frayed fates are becoming increasingly annoying. I look forward to putting them to bed, as it were. Do you have the items we need to summon our Daedric Consultant? Hearless work! Let's see, uh, here's the i -Core. Unpleasant to gather, but I've done worse in my day. Now then, I'll light the fonts and begin the incantation. As we go, I'll need you to offer up the Tome Dust, Talon, and i -Core. In that order. Just so. With any luck, this Tem can tell us where the whims of fate have led Martina. If this doesn't work, well, I'm sure I'll think of something. But let's hope it works, eh? Onward! We light the flames to summon Tem, the omen of destiny. Come before us! Ask your questions, make your offering. We offer the dust of an ancient spell. I seek the location of my former colleague, Martina Abor. And I have seen you, Cassandra Alcibiade. You search for one who does not wish to be found. Recalcitrant, are we? We offer the talon of a seeker. I need Martina to correct an error. Where are they? You tamper with fate, mortal. Tenuous is a darkness approaching. One you have unmoored. Daedra, I have called, and you must answer. With Icor as payment, I command you. Where can I find Martina Abor? Not to you, Arcanist. Tem will speak with the one who made the offerings. The audacity of that creature! Tem sees you mortal. Adventures, triumphs that have happened, or may happen, or may never happen. Speak, and Tem will tell you what you wish to know. 
The choices of Azander Alcibiades hang heavy about him, reeking from stains on his hands and his soul. Also, he speaks with a distinct lack of respect for Tem, the omen of destiny. Martina Abor, Arcanist of the Abyssal Sea and Illuminatus of the Threads of Fate, retreated to their sanctum 920 days ago. Seek them within the sub-realm known as the Underweave at a place called the Heart. But beware, mortal. The Arcanist you travel with sought to view the paths unwalked, but failed to see where those paths led. In his hubris, he has allowed a thing that should not be to be. Tim has spoken. Questions asked and answered. Farewell, mortals. All things being equal, the Underweave is a powerful nexus of faded potential in Chroma Incognito. Terribly powerful and terribly dangerous. Sounds just like Martina to set up a lab there. Onward and upward! The Underweave is a powerful nexus of faded potential. Hmm. Am I? No, not particularly. Daedra are strange beasts, you know. Their concept of mortality, time, and danger are very different from our own. Clearly, there have been some unintended consequences, but nothing the two of us can't handle. We were excellent collaborators. Together, we gathered power from across the Daedric realms. But in the end, she had very different goals than I do. If nothing else, damn it, I want to have some fun. Ta! Yes, of that I have no doubt. Martina is a consummate professional. Just don't get her started on the transliminal properties of exogenic materials or the writings of Denil Gorath, the dread archivist. We'll be there all day. Not to belabor the obvious, but we'll need to be careful here. We should make haste to the heart of the Underweave and find Martina's sanctum. Onward and upward! Not to belabor, the Fate Weaver key is palpitating, pulling me off to the east. Fascinating. Uh, something in Martina's sanctum must be synergizing with the relic. Let's find that laboratory. Not to be late, the fate we...
course you are. Knock, knock, Martina. Damn it. Martina. Dead. I had hoped. Oh. Why must the most brilliant among us fall to curiosity's blade? Take a look around, if you don't mind. I need a moment. No idea what that concoction is. Curious. Martina was a zealous note taker. That may be helpful to our inquiry. Perhaps you, uh, might find something on her remains. I, uh, wish I could say this was the first time I found an old friend dead. But I cannot. From the spell lattice surrounding them, I believe Martina's research may have followed a similar path to my own. Let's take a look at that journal. Hmm. Martina says here she could somehow scry for the fates freed from her timeline. Fascinating. She experimented with several different methods, uh, including using her own blood. Messy, dangerous, but perhaps effective. Yes, yes, I believe so. I have some thoughts that need to germinate. And I'd like to dispel this ward. Take care of Martina. <clears throat> Let's retire to my rooms at Cypher's Midden, near the Way Shrine. I'll see you there, my canny colleague. I'll see you back at Cypher's Midden, my perspicacious collaborator. Just need to see to Martina. Just been prepared. Martina's research lives on. I believe with further development, I can adapt her methods and modify the Fate Weaver key itself. But let's crawl before we walk. First, we confirm if scrying for frayed fates is even possible. It's time to put my failure behind me. So far, the fates have come to me. With Martina's research, we can scry for one, find it, and shut it down. What do you think of that? This is why you make a good collaborator. Your focus. I place in your hands the Fate Weaver Key. Still flawed, unfortunately, but newly modified thanks to Martina's notes. Follow along with me, and we'll seek out a frayed fate. Observe this thaumaturgical quadrant. Gripping the key, activate each of the beacons. Drift. Superlative! The drift is in the far north of the region. I'll meet you there. That was rough, unrefined. I can do better. But we've got our first success and the location. Fathom's Drift. We shall stitch together the unraveled threads of my fate. Mistakes made in forging the Fate Weaver key will recede into the past. Together, we will reap the rewards of knowledge, insight, and scholarship, just as Martina would have wanted. It's a sinkhole in reality, a graveyard for ships from across the realms. Hermaeus Mora is the Tide King, after all. In his role as master of the seas and one whose tentacles rise from the deep, he claims sunken vessels to add to his trove. Truly? I have no orbisal idea why a path unwalked would lead me there. But Martina was shrewd, clever, and other complimentary words. We can trust their work. A 
away, you pestering phantom. You're here. Blast these frayed fates. Let's get in there and turn theory into practice, eh? Smooth these things back into the universe. First, we enter the drift and find the darn thing. The Fate Weaver key in your able hands will lead us where we need to go. Now, properly attuned, it should allow you to tug on the threads that bind my fate to me. We use the Fate Weaver key itself to bind this frayed fate back into the fabric of the universe. Now, I'm not... Well, to be totally honest, I'm not exactly sure what that will look like. But we're armed with a dead friend's knowledge. We'll see it done. Into the drift! Huzzah! should make visible the threads that bind me to the nearby frayed fate. I think I see something. Look there. This distortion is a frayed fate. Let's pull this situation into focus. Love the deck, Cassander. Stop lollygagging, Cassander. I'm tired of all this. What? A sailor? How odd. I haven't wanted to be a sailor since I was a child. Builds rats and stale bread. I'll never make it to first mate. Ah, such potential. Stronger now. Twitching tentacles, what is that? I grow stronger. Room forms should banish that thing. We will not be undone. It worked. Oh, I wasn't sure it would. What we just witnessed oh, distressing, horrid, disconcerting. Apologies, cohort. I'm free associating to deal with my emotions. Of course, just processing. Tim, it seems, was telling the truth. Afraid fate has grown in strength somehow become adversarial allow me to take back the fate weaver key hmm. i'll need to consider this new information the introduction of this adversary into the experiment was unforeseen let's reconvene in my room at cypher's midden Incredible. Somehow, my experiment seems to have created a new, previously unseen mystic phenomenon. One frayed fate consumed the other by means and for reasons unknown. I'd be even happier if it didn't want me dead. Ha! Yes. I mean, would I prefer this adversary enjoy a strenuous argument over a pot of tea? Without a doubt. But you have to understand, I believe the Fate Weaver experiment was an abject failure. Indubitably. 
And mark me well, this discovery would not have been possible without your insights and abettance. We make a superlative research duo, you and I. But I haven't had a competent cohort in some time. I must. My fate is still frayed, after all. It must be restored and this dark being dealt with. But now, a question for you. Would you be willing, if you have the time and inclination, to continue our collaboration? Together, my new cohort, we began the work of understanding the nature of fate. We put an old friend to rest. And someday soon, we'll repair the key. But for now, accept my promised coin with enthusiastic thanks. Onward and upward! Together, cohort, we will accomplish stupendous things. <laughs>